Okay, welcome everybody to the budget meeting for April the 18th, 2024. <clears throat> I'd like to welcome uh, everybody and acknowledge that uh, this meeting is being held under traditional territory of the Fort Nelson First Nation and the Prophet River First Nations. Uh, please be advised that this meeting is available to the public to attend virtually and is being recorded today. We're having some difficulty with the live stream. Uh, adoption of the agenda, please. Moved by Councillor Gooing, second by Councillor Souls. All in favor? Opposed? Okay, thank you. Uh, there's one minute set of minutes there from the 2023 final budget minutes of April the 19th for adoption. Moved by Councillor Andrews, second by Councillor Roper. Got me got mixed up there for a second. Oh, well, it's pretty amazing how it it just it makes a, it makes a difference. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is there any discussion? Seeing none. All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Uh, new business. So that brings us to the 2024 budget discussion, um, overview of the changes, I think, and the summary of the budget. Turn over to staff, please. Thank you, uh, Mayor. So I'll uh, kick us off here. I'm just going to, I'll hand over to Tre Trevor. So in front of you, the updated package, there's a document here, a summary of the changes from the uh, proposed, the draft budget to the proposed budget today. Um, the uh, at the at the draft budget, the required tax levy was uh, set at twenty three six eighty four eight twenty three. Uh, that's since changed with the changes which are summarized here to twenty three six fifty three five twenty five. So twenty three million six hundred fifty three thousand five twenty five. So it's a uh, just a just a hair over thirty one thousand dollars less than the original uh, tax levy that uh, was part of the draft budget document. Um, so the updated number now is a is one point three five two million higher than the two thousand and twenty three budget, or uh, approximately six six percent. I'll hand it over to Trevor. He'll walk through the various uh, line items in terms of the, uh, the the changes that occurred since the draft budget was presented to council and feel free if there's any questions as he's going through each one to to stop him and ask a question and uh, we'll do our best to answer them at that time good okay so um the listing is it there's really a combination of, there was a few items where we had the opportunity to adjust the budget to actual. Um, the, the, big, the big one involved in uh, adjusting to actual was our insurance costs where I had budgeted a 10% increase, um, but actuals came in approximately 10% less. So that added quite a swing, um, about $136,000. Some other minor adjustments to actuals were related to grants where we get a grant letter around this time of year uh, indicating what actual amounts will be. So I, I was able to get those in as well. So for some of the other ones, so the first one on the listing, we've added an amount of $25,000 under grants to groups. And this is related to the Toad River Area uh, Club and um, providing them with firefighting supplies. Um, a couple of the other ones as well are offsetting where um, for EMO, we just adjusted the numbers to better reflect what we expect, which was for EMO an increase in expenses, but that was offset by um, an available increase in the grant funding for it. We picked up a, a minor grant that had been overlooked for $7,500 and then some other minor uh, increases to expenditures. Is there any of those line items you'd like to look at in more detail? Council, I think there might've been a couple of questions. Yeah, just on the golf course, um, there is an increase um, of expenditures and then a reduction of the revenues. And I'm just want, looking for an explanation. Sure, I can. Uh, walk you through it so what occurred is um when the first when the first iteration of the budget was put forward to council for the golf course at the time uh the in, the inputs that were in questica or into our into our budget program um director uh woodland had entered them and hadn't necessarily been finalized of course as council's where he went off at the time so 
uh, we we obviously we, we presented that's the numbers we presented uh, to council. At the same time, we we're in the process of working through the agreement with the golf course uh, regarding the operations of the golf course and the operations of the lease of the uh, clubhouse and the food and beverage component. So when we started working through oh, internally before we actually had the conversations with the golf course, we started looking at the numbers. We recognized that the uh, there was items on the expense list that we had put in or entered that should have been on us, not on 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 the golf course executive. And when we actually did the math, the numbers didn't make sense. There was no way that the golf course could be run. When you look at comparisons in terms of what an ask would have been if the if in traditional if the traditional process continued with the society requesting funds to operate the golf course, there was a significant reduction. So we had to get under under the hood of those numbers and figure out why. And what occurred is that there were some revenues that we were uh, taking which shouldn't linked back to the clubhouse uh, and then a couple of uh, the tournaments that they would be hosting and then there was expenses specific to the golf the uh, green side that they were actually they, they and that we had put in as an expense so we had we had started adjusting that and then confirmed some of those assumptions when we went through the lease agreement because we or sorry the operations agreement that we that we developed with them um to 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 confirm who should be looking after what there was no additional cost added overall it was basically moving in items in some cases that were was in the line item for the golf course uh, for the society that they were paying for that we should be paying for could be things items for activities on the greens or whatnot and then vice versa there were some revenues that we were we were taking that we shouldn't be taking if you look at a comparison the net tax levy overall, if you if you subtract the expenses, the revenues from the expenses, you're about one hundred twenty one thousand dollars. In comparison, last year's um, ask for the golf course uh, was one sixty seven, mm -hmm. and then the year before that was one fifteen and one fourteen and one fourteen. So, so from a comparison perspective, overall, it's relatively status quo. It's just we had the expenses. There was some sorting through. <clears throat> from an expense and a revenue side in our books that we had to sort through. Does that explain it? Yeah. Council Green? Yeah. yeah, it does. And um, can I get a copy of the operational agreement? Sure. Thanks. And, and just to add, sorry, with the operation, the, the agreement we have in place, it's just for the year because the intent with the transition going into this year is that we're going to review it next year to make sure that everything that's in that agreement um, make sense and just refine it because there's some there's there's a likelihood that there'll be some transitional things we'll have to deal with. So we just did it for the twelve months. Are there any other questions about any of the other changes that are on that change document? No. Okay. Got off lucky, or you, you got either got off lucky, or you explained it well. What do we got? Let's say you explained it well. No. I'll, I'll go with lucky. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll just mention one other thing. The director of finance report was updated as well with regards to all of our numbers, which means we have the revised assessment role now. And so you can see what the allocations are um, based on the revised role versus what we had in the draft report. Essentially, what generally happens is the revised role values will tend to be a little bit lower. And that is the case in, in, um, with this role as well. Uh, interestingly enough, for residential, um, the completed role assessed values was 9.9 .9 million, and it actually did go up about $50,000. Okay, where would you like to go next? So I was, the question I was going to ask council, how would that? So, so, so we pre presented the information originally part of the part of the the, the draft budget process. Uh, staff is here to answer any questions. We can go into however much detail council wishes, Mayor. Um, so I just uh, ask, how would you uh, like to proceed in terms of next steps with the with the document? Well, for me, I I thought we went through the original draft. Well, we've presented it to the public. Um, 
Council's had an opportunity to review these changes that have been made since then. I'm I'm comfortable with, with the way it is, but I'm you know I'm looking I'm looking to council to see if 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 they want to go into it in any more detail. But otherwise, I'm I'm prepared to move these these changes and this new draft, I guess, to the bylaw process. So I'm ready for that. I'm I'm just would I'm not comfortable speaking for everybody though. So well, how does everybody else feel? Okay, I'll start. Sure. Um, no, I'm good. I, I feel that um, our review process, we went through absolutely every page, mm -hmm. every line, and um, the questions that were proposed were answered. Um, and then with the very awesome change um, recap, which I found invaluable, thank mm -hmm. you, saved me so much time. Um, I feel confident uh, that unless there's changes in here that isn't on the recap, like I feel confident in just moving forward. Like, no, I don't need to go through it line by line, section by section yet again. Okay. Councilor Souls? Ditto. Ditto. Councilor Roper? Yeah, I agree. Everything that uh, is on my mind has been said. So. Good. Councilor Anders? Um, there's just one item I noticed on here. I thought we had an email that was being pulled for the long-term travel supply. Right. So that, my understanding of that is that was coming out of, um, and that was coming out of reserves. And so it didn't impact the overall tax levy. It's just, I, but I guess the question is a good one. Does it stay on the, uh, the project list, I guess, for the capital or, or have you removed it from? We've, it's from still there. So Still we there? discussed it internally. Yeah, there's a there's an interim uh, gravel uh, opportunity closing today, actually, just to look after some immediate needs. Mm -hmm. uh, the plan to acquire some long term gravel is still a plan. Is we've just deferred it to 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 sort out some of the wrinkles that we realized were in place in the meantime. If it's in or out, it doesn't change. I mean, it would change the overall budget, of course, yes. but it doesn't change the tax levy one way or another way because it's coming out of the actual uh, reserve contribution. So our uh, intent was to keep it in. So we have the ability to proceed with something if if we were to uh, get to that point prior to the budget year. Right. So because it's been taken back, it would come back to us when there is a plan, right? Because there were several questions on the table. Yes. And they were answered for the most part, but then... Staff came back with the, I, I guess, with the idea to postpone it. But yeah. but you're wanting to keep it in the budget in case you come to an agreement or there's opportunity during this budget year. Otherwise, it just gets carried over it to the next year. Yeah. The, the intent is still to look and secure a long term gravel supply. It's just we just we have some we have some internal questions and some stuff to work through. Sure. So there's some admin. So I think those will that will come back to us i guess Absolutely. before we before we actually go ahead and and, and approve that in the end yeah. given the discussion that council had around the regard and some of the yeah. detail it would absolutely come back for discussion with council so you have an idea we're, we're looking again not to get too far ahead of the process but we're looking you know at opportunities potentially not necessarily dictating what the in, in a tender process possibly even to an rfp so we'd say we're looking for a long term gravel supply Please provide some ideas and options, and and do it from our, so a, um, a request for proposals versus a tender process, which would then open up various opportunities for um, storage and yeah. delivery and all that stuff. So, and and when we get to that point, we'd uh, obviously, given the value, especially, we'd have to come back to council and, and get any approvals anyway. Okay, second. Okay, so I think that covers this. I think we're ready to move to the bylaw process. So what would you like from us? Uh, uh, a resolution that approves this draft for the bylaw process? Yes, yeah, it please. Approves it in can, principle for the if draft. You can, if you can approve, I mean, if you're, if you're comfortable approving the document in, in principle as a whole, so we can proceed to the next step, which um, there's a, if well, actually, there will probably be additions to the uh, Monday's meeting because everything's drafted. Trevor's just been in a bit of a holding pattern just to see if there be any changes. And that's, you'll notice it on the uh, on the agenda, but the documents aren't there. So the intent is to bring that first draft, uh, the first piece of the the, the, the bylaw to council Monday night at the, at the meeting. Okay. So looking right now, if you can pass it, just a motion for this, just accepting uh, and and approving the uh, this document in principle and uh, as a whole, and proceeding to the next step. Okay. The bylaw process. 
How's that? How would that work with the, uh, I know there's a couple conflicts of interests in here. Can Do we have to pull those out or can we in principle? Uh, I'll look to you guys. And my feel is that because it's an overall, we're approving the overall document, no, not specific pieces of it, that we'd be okay. But I'll, I'll look to staff for that. Unless, unless Stacy objects, which I, um, I don't see him objecting. I, I'm of the same opinion uh, because in previous years, for example, the bylaw and everything, and the and the tax rates and everything get get accepted as a whole. Yeah, there isn't there isn't currently a debate specific to that particular item here. Yeah, um, or discussion specific. Whether, because I think items. you said you know we had we had you step out for library, we had you step out, and 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 that was appropriate at the time. I I agree that I think that that because it's all encompassing in in one document that it's fine for you guys to sit here. Okay. Okay, I'm so, going to make a motion. Okay, I was just going to see if, a book if there's somebody ready to make a motion. Yes, I'm making a motion that council um, um, adopt the 2024 budget as presented. Okay. Moved by Councillor Going, second by Councillor Souls, that we adopt the current draft of the of the 2024 budget in principle uh, to move forward to the bylaw process. Just want to get everything on yeah. All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Is there any public? Is, no one's on? Is there anything else that staff needs from council? You guys make sure No, we're we're, we're fine here. Adjournment is in order. Moved by Councillor Anders, second by Councillor Roper. I'm just not going to get that back and forth. Very good. All in favor. Opposed, carried. Thank you very much. It's good. But we did that, remember? Like, oh, our last week. You called it.